Hi there, my name is Askari. So continuing our SDL series, I'm going to show you in this episode how you can add a texture manager class so that it will be easier for you to create any texture. So first of all, press Ctrl plus Shift plus A and make a header file. I will name it as texture manager and make a class in it. I will write down the class texture manager and th this will contain no private variables only a public function so public function will be static so also you need to include game loop here because we have included all the SGL libraries in there so SDL texture and that will be a pointer texture so in this function we will have to pass a string because image load, load function do not work with the string so we have to use con constant character pointers so I will write constant character pointer file location so this will be the address of where the file is located and after that we want uh, SDL renderer so I will name it SDL renderer and I will call it run so I will move to .cpp file cpp name it texture.manager you have to make sure that name is identical otherwise it will won't recognize dot h file here I will include I will include texture.manager.h so in the cpp file we will write sdl texture pointer and then we will write the name texture manager and then I then the name of the function texture and here also we have to write the arguments we we'll write constant character pointer file location also SDL renderer the renderer so to create a texture we need a surface first because surface is a physical thing so we have to create surface in order to create a texture so I will make uh, SDL surface and now I will load my image into the surface so it's something like this img underscore load and here it takes the file a uh, file address as you can see so I will write here file location file location file location so this is done and now so I will create a SDL texture and in this empty texture we will create texture by using this function SDL create texture from surface so we are using a surface to create this texture we will pass in the renderer and we will pass in the surface and after that once our texture is, is, is formed we will return the structure return the texture so 
this is it that's all you have to do to create a texture manager and now I will run the program to check if this is compiled correctly or not as you can see no issues, no issues found and my game launches correctly so that that indicates that this is fine and in the next video I will show you how you can display image on the screen by using this texture manager class so that's it for this video I will see you in the next one bye